Innovation has always been the cornerstone of Michelin's presence in the world tire market. From the first detachable pneumatic tire in the early 1890s to the introduction of duels in 1908, Michelin has been identifying solutions to help truckers for over a century. With weight savings of up to 1,250 pounds and fuel savings of between 4 and 8 percent, the X1 tire is just the partner today's operations managers are looking for to squeeze more profits out of already tight margins. The X1 tire from Michelin, just the latest in a proud history of tire innovation. X1 tires have many advantages over dual tire systems. However, a major concern among driving professionals is how controllable they are during blowout situations, especially over a dual tire fitment. One of the biggest driver objections that must be overcome when replacing two tires with one is, what happens when the mate cannot help carry the load as in a traditional dual tire fitment? The only way to answer that question is to demonstrate it by blowing out X1 tires when mounted on any vehicle position. Since their inception, Michelin has blown out a large number of X1 tires mounted on a wide variety of vehicles, such as concrete mixers, motor coaches, and tractor trailers, to name just a few. We wanted to prove just how controllable blowouts can be, no matter where they occur on a rig, whether it's the steer, drive, or trailer axle positions. What happens when we blow out X1 tires when mounted on a tractor trailer configuration known as triples? Triples are just that, a tractor pulling three 28-foot trailers. Some of the advantages triples have over a standard tractor trailer combination include the ability to carry more load and the flexibility of dropping off one trailer at a predetermined location while pulling the remaining trailers to another location. We decided to blow out X1 tires when mounted on the convertible fifth wheel of the last trailer position and on the tractor's drive axle position. Why these positions? Because driving professionals tell us that's where their biggest concern is for loss of control. For our demonstration, we used three 28-foot flatbed trailers loaded to approximately 110,000 pounds. We used a 4x2 tractor to pull the loaded flatbeds. In order to make this demonstration more realistic, we blew out the X1 tires at 48 miles per hour during a double lane change and at 40 miles per hour through the curve. We begin by preparing our tires to blow out by using C4 explosives and a blasting cap. Let's begin with the double lane change. For our first run, we blew out the X1 tire mounted on the right side of the third axle dolly position. We blew the tire at the beginning of the double lane change, the most dangerous part, and continued through the lane change on the flat X1 tire to show controllability. Why a double lane change? To simulate a worst case scenario. Why the right side tire? more outward force will be applied to the right side or outer tire while the vehicle is in a left-hand lane change, making the vehicle even more difficult to control. The vehicle will first take a practice run. Our target speed is 48 miles per hour, with a maximum speed of 50. As you listen for the explosion, watch the vehicle closely for any type of violent sway or other types of out-of-control movements. As you can see, blowing out the X1 tire is clearly a non-event. There was no loss of control and no sudden side-to-side -side movement. In fact, the vehicle slowed down on its own during the double lane change. See for yourself. Let's look at it again from different angles. Nothing. So what did we prove? An X1 blowout on the dolly position is clearly controllable even in an emergency lane change maneuver. So what does the driver feel? 
we mounted a camera inside the vehicle to record all driver and vehicle movements during the blowout event. Let's watch and see what happens. Nothing. From the driver's perspective, there was no sudden jerking of the steering wheel and no sudden side-to-side -side movement. The driver maintained complete control throughout the entire blowout sequence. It's as if nothing happened. But something certainly did happen. It's amazing what a little C4 can do. As you can see, the X1 tire was completely blown out. Also, the tire did not dismount from its wheel during the blowout event. And most importantly, there was no loss of control of the tractor. Now let's blow out an X1 tire when mounted on the right side drive axle position of a 4x2 tractor equipped with Electronic Stability Control, or ESC. Instead of blowing it out in a double lane change, we'll blow it out in the curve. Why the curve? Because we already know that a double lane change blowout is clearly a non-event. The curve, on the other hand, while not nearly as aggressive as a double lane change maneuver, can present its own challenges and is more realistic in the real world. To keep our variables to a minimum, we maintained a speed of 40 miles an hour through the curve. The first run will be with ESC off, the second with ESC on. We will blow the tire just before the curve and travel completely through the curve on the blown X1 tire. Let's watch both runs and compare each. As you can see, the vehicle tracks through the curve perfectly during both runs. This time, we'll look at it again from multiple angles, watching the vehicle as it travels completely through the curve. No tractor and trailer swings to the right. No sudden violent movements. No loss of control. Let's summarize. Today, we've proven that the most extreme tractor and trailer blowouts are certainly controllable. We did this at speed in curves and double lane change maneuvers on a fully loaded triples combination. Lastly, if you want to mount X1 tires on your 4x2 tractor, your vehicle must be equipped with electronic stability control. If it doesn't have ESC, we do not recommend X1 tires for your vehicle. Steers, drives, trailers, regardless where or when a blowout occurs, either on duels or X1 tires, it doesn't have to result in a catastrophe. As we've shown you today, blowouts are, without question, controllable. Michelin, a better way forward.